because I feel like I've gotten amazing things off of Etsy and Amazon and I definitely want to share it with you. I am getting married in Rivera Maya, Mexico. So I'm having a destination wedding. I'm from San Francisco. I have family flying in from all over the states, um, mainly from Minnesota and Oklahoma. And I'm just super excited to have them there. And I um, I'm also part of this amazing group um, for Barcelo Brides, which is the hotel that I'm getting married at. This group has been amazing. Um, we post all the time and girls answer your questions and it's been amazing to be part of this group. So I definitely want to share it there. And for you girls that are part of this group, I hope you like this video and I'm just excited to show you guys what I got. My wedding is in three weeks and I'm super, super excited. Right now it's 10 30 so it's a little bit late and that's why i don't have any makeup on and i was actually going to go to bed but i decided to make this video now um, to show you guys because i'm excited so if you're also a destination bride or a barcelo bride you know there's quite a bit of other vendors to work with when you're planning your wedding and so i won't go in depth into the decor and the bouquets that my mother-in-law and my mom helped me with um, maybe that's another video if you're interested let me know but first i'll get started with showing you some of the accessories that i purchased off of amazon that i think are actually crucial starting with the veil yes the veil i loved this veil when i first saw it on amazon but you never know if things are too good to be true but the reason i decided to purchase it is because it came from this company that i had already purchased from and this is what the company's name is i think it's called sweet tv comes in this little packaging which is surprising for amazon because you usually just get this sort of thing and so they put a lot of effort into kind of what they package and send you it's actually really cute the veil looks like this it's a cathedral veil it's very 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 long and i'll show a video here of me wearing it but i got the ivory color i thought it was an amazing amazing purchase i'll put the price up here on the screen just because i can't remember exactly what i paid honestly i can't believe i bought my veil off of amazon but i highly highly recommend because it is an amazing veil and you could spend about 800 dollars on a veil or you could purchase one from amazon that feels very very similar to what i tried on at the store and it is very tempting to purchase at the store when you say yes to the dress but i really do think that you should wait and save like 80 percent on a veil <laughs> Okay, initially I decided to purchase the veil because I happened to purchase another item from the store and I really, really like the quality and the packaging really sold me. I'm all about just, just, just the care that they put in their brand and I can just tell it's really high quality. So this item is this headband. Right now I don't have the hairstyle for it, but I plan to wear it for my wedding and I think it's gonna be really, really cute. These are all over the place and they're quite pricey. So I'm really, really excited. I'll show the price that I paid here. You can tell very, very inexpensive, just lovely. Look at the, just the details, just very, very beautiful and dainty. And it comes with um, the string so that you can tie it behind. Um, comes with both of them and also it comes with some bobby pins so they just thought about everything during the packaging it's just really cute um it's gold and just perfect for what i was looking for they also have a lot of different styles that you can pick from and so i definitely think that if you're looking for something like this you should look at that brand and that store off of amazon i'll link everything that i'm mentioning down below so that you can find everything just easily Okay, so I'm going to show you things that are no longer accessories. These are things that I plan on including in little gift bags for my guests when they arrive. And I'll show you what they look like um, once they're all put together. But the first thing, oh, by the way, I did purchase this dress off of Amazon. If you're interested, I'll also link it. It's a really cute dress, but it's very simple. If you're also interested, I can show you all, all the things that I purchased. I got some really, really cute dresses. I would love to show you if you're interested. 
But the first thing is this koozie. I'll actually link the vendor below. It has our names and behind it, it says the Dorsey's, which will be my last name. And it says, Bienvenidos a Mexico, welcome to Mexico, and the date. It's really cute. <laughs> Okay, so the bags that I purchased to put these koozies in are these. I felt like these fit really well with our theme of beachy. Love the burlap. I also really liked it because when you put the koozies in, the name peeps through the bag and I'll show you a video right now of how it looks like when it's filled up, but I plan, I plan on uh, filling it with some emergency items like Advil, Tom's, maybe some snacks, some of chocolates, stuff like that. And I just thought that it was big enough to add any of that, all of that, and as well as like the itinerary and those sort of things. And initially I had bought a smaller one, but I felt like this was so appropriate and perfect for our guests. And it looks really cute once it's filled up. So another thing that I plan on including are itineraries and our bachelorette and bachelor information, which my planner is helping me kind of coordinate. And I got these off of Sassel. I got it with an envelope because I plan on just putting it in that bag. I thought that it fit really nicely. But this is what it looks like. It has all of our details. It has the Facebook group where we'll be communicating with my, with my group. Um, it has any details and everything. And actually this template I found off of Zazzle and it was like 50 cents a page. It was insane. I paid like nothing for these. And I plan on including this and then also this, um, which is another template. Actually, my sister designed this one or she got it off of Canva, um, but I just thought it was really cute. So it says, before I say I do, let's have a drink or two. I'll also include the design for this one. It has my name, the attire is pink, which I'm really excited about. And in the back, I didn't want to add another card because I felt like it was going to be too much, but in the back, then it's my fiance or my husband's um, bachelor information. And it just says like the restaurant and where they'll be meeting. So with both of these and inside the envelope and in the bag, I just thought it was a really cute thing to do so that people are aware of all the things that are happening. Okay, so um, I just happened to be browsing the Etsy page because I was trying to get ideas on uh, things I wanted to purchase and I happened to find these. Um, it's hard to see here, but I got it off of Amazon actually because the ones on Etsy were just a little too expensive um, and these were just amazing. I felt like it was they smell insanely good, first of all, and I just love the idea. And so what this is, is a confetti, but it's made out of um, biodegradable, just flowers, so dried up flowers, which is really nice. And so I plan on putting, these actually come with a paper that you kind of roll up and make into a cone. And then I plan on putting these at the front so that people can throw at us when we walk down the aisle. This video is coming to an end pretty soon. I only have a couple of items left to show you, but I'm really excited about this one. It came in this hard box and it is our cake topper. And this is what it looks like. It's personalized and it says Mr. and Mrs. Dorsey and I plan on putting this in my wedding cake. It's really, really beautiful. I loved it. And actually I do have to say that I, the seller is amazing and she, it actually first came broken and she sent me another one, which is really, really sweet. Don't know how it got broken in the mail, but she was so nice and just sent me a new one. So I'm really, really happy that she did that. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really, really hope that it was helpful to you and that you liked it and that you liked everything that I purchased and you got good ideas for your wedding. Uh, comment below if you are getting married soon. I'd love to follow you and see what your wedding dress looks like and your venue and all that. I am obsessed with just that content. But anyway, thanks so much again for watching. And uh, if you want any other tips or anything, any questions that you have for me, just let me know. I would love to help you. Excited to show you more on my wedding later as it comes up and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. I really was not planning on filming this video, but 
all this stuff was taking over my room. I'll show you. It's all over the floor. It's taking over the room. And I figured I need to put it away in my luggage soon. And I want to make a video about it. So I'm thankful that you stuck around to this point to find out that I did not put makeup and that it's 11. And I'm pretty exhausted, but I wanted to film this video so that it's hopefully helpful because I've watched so many of these videos. And in that Facebook group, I just read so many reviews. I always think they're so helpful. So I hope this was helpful for you. Anyways, bye again. So I'm editing this video. I realized that I missed a couple things on this video. There's a few things that I did that were really fun. It, um, these that I got at Zazzle. I um, think this is a great idea. Just find a design and print them out. For us, we put Jenga guest book and we use these Amazon buys um, to hold them. So it was really cute. We put them at the front. Um, and since this is cardstock, it's really easy to put on these. We also use these for our table numbers. So this is kind of what it looks like. We got these on Zazzle as well, and we printed the design um, front and back. And then lastly, we had these, which we have this, take a shot, we tied the knot. <laughs> and we also had this in one of these things. We basically just had little flags with everybody's um, table on a lemon and on a tequila shot. So this is what we did, um, it was really cute. I'll put the price of everything or the links of everything down in the description. Thanks for watching.